Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ari Does Things. Here I am doing more things and hey, it's another yarn haul. My birthday yarn haul actually. Um, so yay, it was my birthday and for my birthday I wanted this particular yarn. So people either sent me money or bought me this yarn and I have so much of it now. Hopefully I can make everything that I want to make. If you've been watching my lives, you already know because I've already showed it off in my lives um, a couple of times because I was just so excited I could not wait to um, unbox it on camera. So here we are. Um, first thing I want to show you is the, not the main attraction, which is over here off camera. Um, but I also did, my friend gave me this yarn in my teal color. It is soft and shiny, um, by loops and threads. It's 311 yards, 285 meters, six ounces or 170 grams, medium weight four. Uh, it says machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic. Recommends a 5.5 crochet hook or knitting needles. And it is the color. It says aqua slash turquoise. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But in addition to that, when I put in the order from all the money people gave me for the yarn that I'm about to show you, which if you read the title, I'll probably put it in the title, you already know what it is. It's the Juicy Couture yarn. I'm so excited about this yarn. Like I cannot stop thinking about it and talking about it and I cannot wait to cake it all up on camera for you guys and show you that as the next video that you'll see coming. And then after that, I will be recording a video about actually making things from the Juicy Couture yarn, maybe do a little couple of swatches and stuff and do some uh, shorts for the swatches and some TikToks. So follow me on TikTok, it's real alternatives, um, or, you know, Instagram, Facebook, all of that. All, all of that should be linked in my bio on here. So just be sure you're following me elsewhere. But if you've caught other lives, you would have seen that I was working on another one of these. This is one I got to pattern test. It's the Bella crop top. This time I managed to actually like sew it properly to where it's not upside down on the main part. And I got one sleeve done with the yarn that I had left over from doing the first one. So I got this much done. So I needed more of this same yarn. So if you have watched my hauls in the past, you've probably seen this yarn because I got a like value, the value pound and then a couple of these value skeins. It's big twist, 100% acrylic. It says value. Um, so it's either the value skeins or the value pound, but I just got one because I really wasn't trying to spend more money than I needed to and I only need about this much for the one sleeve on this project and I don't think they're discontinuing this anytime soon so I can always get more and they run sales all the time at Joanne um so it's 380 yards uh 347 meters six ounces 170 grams uh, recommends five millimeter crochet hook or knitting needles, machine washable, low iron, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, dry flat. Um, it's the color teal, of course. So I got one of those so that I could finish that project. But now the main attraction. <laughs> just over here in this huge box um i got so much i wanted to get like one of every color but like that just wasn't I, one skein is not enough to make the things that i'm wanting to make with them so it didn't make sense for me right now to buy one of each color just to have it um so i bought as many colors as i could and then as many of the colors as i could basically so we got some of them even like came in, I still haven't taken them out of these bags, but this, I got all of the sparkle ones. So it says Luxe Velour Sparkle. It's 98% polyester, 2% 
Metallic. It says Juicy Couture, Los Angeles, California, 107 yards, 98 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. Recommends 6.5 millimeter uh, crochet hook or knitting needles. It is a size five chunky. It says machine wash cold, dry flat, do not bleach, do not iron, do not dry clean. And it was made in Vietnam. This is the color Free Love pink here. So that's like the main color that like when you go on there, it's like one of the main colors that they show up with first um, because it's kind of like their branded color, sort of. Um, so anyway, I got 10 skeins of this. If you wanna see it in more detail, um, I do show it off in the past lives and I'm gonna be sharing it a lot on TikTok. So like I said, just make sure you're following me there. So here's more of the pink. I also got 10 skeins of this regal blue they all break down the same by the way and you can check that sparkle um the thing i really love about this yarn is that instead of it just being a thread of sparkle that they wrap around the polyester um it's like embedded like you see that can you see that can you see it very well it's like embedded in there there's like sparkle throughout so like it's really really high quality i don't know if i would ever like unless people actually want to buy products made from this made by me and i have to because of demand to pay ten dollars a skein for this i wouldn't actually like pay ten dollars a skein for this we got this during the labor day sale it was all like 5.99 so right now it was on sale for like 7.49 and that's what i had seen it on sale for first when they first launched it um, but we caught it on super sale and I was just so stoked. I really hope it does well enough that they start adding other colors like teal and turquoise and aqua and, and yellow and lavender and all of that stuff and gold. Like, I just, I want all of these colors. Like, I just want, I just want nothing more than to work with this yarn for a long time. <laughs> I want to, that's, that's my goal, is to get enough people buying things that I get to work with this yarn on a regular basis. So as you can see, there's more packages of these, and then here's the rest. I can't even, I can't even. The rest of the Free Love Pink here. And then the rest of the regal blue. Let's see if I can actually do this. Nope, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Okay, let me just put that back. Put that back in the box. Okay. <laughs> ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. I'm being ridiculous here. Okay, so anyway, let's let's put as much as we can back in there. So I got four other colors. They had this uh, white, which it was advertised as being called Angel, but it's called Pearl. So you can also kind of you can't see the sparkles as well on this one because of the lighting, but like you can kind of see them. Um, so I got three of these for, I actually got them for accents on the tracksuit that I was wanting to make with these colors. Um, first of all, so I might still do that with one of the skeins, but I also was thinking like, I can make other things with them and that's why when I had I could order like a couple extra skeins so instead of ordering just like one more of each of these colors these two colors I ordered one of the red which if you you might not be able to notice on camera but like the sparkle in this one is actually two tones of sparkle it's like the silver sparkle and then also the red sparkle um, so that's cool. That's different from all the other colors, but I got this hoping that I could make like a mushroom bag with this in the white. 
And then I got this Coral Haze. Oh, that one's called Fire, by the way, the red. Um, and I got this Coral Haze color because it was also very beautiful. As you can see, they are all sparkly. Um, so I was thinking because before I had ordered my order, my friend had asked me like what I wanted, what colors, and I had ordered one of these black. It's uh, licorice is what the color is called. You can really, really see the sparkles on this one. But I had already had a black uh, licorice color coming. So I thought to myself, that is beautiful, right? So like, that's gonna be a beautiful thing to do to make something out of. And maybe with like white accents, like maybe a top that's like half and half these two colors and then with white around the borders and like a little heart in the middle or something. So yeah, let's see. Let's go ahead and put all of this back as best as I can. Here we go. There we go. So many skeins. <laughs> so many skeins of yarn. Um, it's like an overflowing, because it was like three packages worth. Two, two packages that were like in poly mailers and then this box full of the yarn. So I had ordered this at the same time as like my other order of like all of, like I, I had one friend buy me six skeins, one bought me five, and then I bought the rest of these along with that one that I just showed you that was the teal. And so that is the birthday yarn haul. That is That, that concludes the birthday yarn haul. Um, so now you just need to subscribe if you're not already so that you can stay tuned and see me cake up all these bad boys because that is what I am about to be doing. Um, now that I have like done this part of it because like I've been waiting, I, I got the first package like this one day on a Saturday and then I didn't get the other package until like the Monday or something and then the next uh or no it was like a Tuesday yeah it was a Tuesday because uh the other package came to my friend's house on that Tuesday and then I had to go get it Wednesday yesterday and then now I'm recording this today Thursday and you are going to see it hopefully tomorrow Friday so yeah this past week we got all the yarn and um now I have my yarn winder as well. It came in from Amazon. I did not grab it to show you, but you will see it if you want to see it. It will be in the next video that you will be seeing next week. Um, so just stay tuned for that. I will have the specific yarn winder that I bought linked in the description of that video. Uh, I can link you to all of this yarn on Joann's, uh, the sparkle yarn specifically. They do have it in sparkle and non-sparkle. They are the same exact 10 colors. So they technically have 20 colors because 10 are sparkle and 10 are not. Um, so I can't wait for them to add more colors. I really, really, like if anybody, if anybody at Juicy Couture makes a point of like watching these type of videos to like see what people are saying about it, Please, 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 I beg of you, make more colors. Come up with more colors. Do all the colors of the track suits. We need lime green. We need lavender. We need pale yellow. We need gold. We need more, you know, you can make more pinks. Make as many pinks as you want. But like the fact that there was like three or four pink, like there was like three pinks and then the red color. And then there's like white and black and then like a blue a green a maroon brownish almost purpley color <clears throat> and i think that's it no there's a gray there's excuse me there's a gray um so yeah like i i enjoy those colors i really wish i could have got the the gray color i think it's like carbon gray or something is what it's called but um i will link the yarn below um if you want i can link this one too it's um 
you know, I'm not, it's not affiliate links for these yarns because I'm not an affiliate for Joanne, but I did get them from, from Joanne. So if you want these exact yarns, that's where you should go is Joanne. Um, because it is for these a Juicy Couture X Joanne collab. So you're, you're not going to find this anywhere else. Um, they also, they do have fabric. They only have it, <clears throat> they only have it in like, four colors I think. They have like a hot pink, a muted pink, white, and black. And it's stretchy velour. But I have seen people make a couple things out of that. So that's interesting. If you want to see that, just make sure you look up, you know, just, just look up Juicy Couture um, DIY or something, I guess. I, I was looking up the Juicy Couture yarn and people buying the fabric and making things were showing up. So I don't know. Google, Google, not Google, but like search for whatever, wherever, because it'll probably come up. But um, yeah, so I was like, I don't know, I was just super excited when I heard about this. I heard about it through a Facebook group that I'm a part of, and somebody was like saying something, had, they had like seen a news article that was telling them about Juicy Couture, about a jo drop at Joanne. <clears throat> And I was immediately like, what? I immediately went to the app and like checked it out and there was like fabric and stuff coming up, but not the yarn. And I was like, okay, but the fabric's coming up. So maybe this is just a thing that they've got in the works. And sure enough, I kept checking and there it was. And my birthday was right around the corner. So it all just worked out super great because I was like, how am I gonna get my hands on this yarn? Like, how am I gonna do that? And then the, my prayers were answered. So I'm really, really, really happy with my yarn haul. Cannot wait to show you guys. I think I'm gonna break down the actual like filming of making things into sections. Like uh, <clears throat> maybe I will, maybe I will film a segment talking about my plans and like my sketches. And then after I film and release that, then that will give me enough time to have been recording myself actually making the pants that I'm gonna make. So maybe I can get the pants done and that will be the video after that. And then the jacket, I still have to buy a zipper for the jacket because I want a zipper on the jacket. I will hand sew the whole thing, I don't care. <laughs> like I just, I want it to be, I want it to be good, perfect. I want it to be great. Um, so we're gonna do that. And um, yeah, so I'll, I'll release the pants video after the planning video and then the jacket video. And then we'll do, if we didn't brainstorm in the planning video for the other things I'm gonna make, we'll do another video about that or we'll do that during a live stream. And then we'll just keep making things out of this yarn. Like that's gonna be, that's gonna be my ammo. Like I do have a small live painting event that I'll probably take some like short clips of and do some shorts for. Um, that that's Friday, and as long as the weather is permitting, like I'm like that's tomorrow. the 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 day you're the day you're seeing this video <laughs> basically will be the day that it's happening. So I'll probably like get some short clips. Maybe I'll do a like small little video of my setup and everything. Um, just so that you can get an idea of like the one table live painting setup that I'm doing. And then I have Pride, the Pride Festival next week on Saturday. So what I can do is it, you can comment below and let me know whether you want to see all the Juicy Couture stuff back to back to back to back to back and then maybe some market stuff. Or if you want to see some Juicy Couture stuff, and then as soon as I can after the market, the market stuff, and then more Juicy Couture stuff. I can do it either way. I can do it however. Um, it doesn't really matter um, because I do plan on trying to at least get some footage from the market and talk about the market and stuff. Uh, speaking of markets, I have to pack the car tonight, so that's going to be fun. Maybe I'll do a little time lapsey poo on my phone for vertical videos and uh, share that with you guys on TikTok and on here. So we will see uh, what I end up doing, but it is like 3.30 in the afternoon or something and I'm cooking chicken. 
I have to finish this video and then start winding the yarn and doing time lapses of that and I have to do the intro to that and so that we can and I have to do all these TikToks so that I can like have TikToks that look really cool with them still in the skeins before I cake them all up and then I've got to cake them all up and do the remaining portions of TikToks of them caked then I gotta save some TikToks for when I have the full you know projects together it's gonna be great anyway follow me on TikTok uh if you don't already um look up if you're interested in more videos about this yarn there are several on TikTok there are a couple here on YouTube but not enough I keep looking for it and there's there's just not enough content about this yarn like people are not like maybe it's the price point maybe it's the price point but Joanne be having sales so more, I, f I feel like more people as they hear about it will probably get more interested and like share more about this yarn because man, Juicy Couture is like a cultural icon, you know? So I just, I feel like it's not yet getting the attention it deserves. And like I said before, I'm not necessarily saying I would like to pay $10 a skein for this, but if I were actually selling products made of this, because I would be charging like I was buying it for $10 a skein in case I had to. So like if I had to, I would definitely pay $10 a skein for this um, because the quality of it and the reason it's like a five weight and not a six, even though it works up the same as the Just Chanel, uh, Premier Just Chanel from Dollar Tree, it works up just the same as that, I think. Um, I haven't like worked with it, worked with it yet, but it feels exactly the same as that to me. And I'm going to try like little swatches of like the same patterns to see if like the size is comparable. Um, so I will get back to you about like how similar it is to the weight six, but I think they went with a weight five instead of making it even bulkier just because it's going to be better for like making clothing. It's going to be like tighter stitches and all of that. Um, so I think that's what they were going for. They knew, they already knew when they, when they were planning this and like the fabric and stuff they already knew that people were like making their own Juicy Couture ripoffs and stuff and like interested in doing these things DIY. So they're just taking advantage of that and being like, here are the tools that you need. <laughs> and all I wish is that they would give us more tools, a, a larger palette, like 50 colors. G g give me, not, not 50 as in 25, well even, even 25 sparkle, 25 unsparkle, that would still be better than what we have now with just 10 and 10. But if we could get like 50 colors of this stuff, and I would just like, ugh. I would work like in, in this weight of yarn, I would work almost exclusively. If they had enough colors in this yarn, I would work exclusively in this yarn. Just because like, I'm trying to portray myself as like more of a luxury brand anyway. So the price point wouldn't be the worst thing, you know, like a couple extra dollars for like really good quality and it doesn't even shed that much. And it's like, even with the, the, poly, the metallic and in the polyester, it's still super duper soft. Like I was already telling myself like, maybe it won't be as soft as it looks. So we, we gotta be prepared for that. But then I touched it and it was just amazing. It was amazing. So I would definitely recommend this yarn. I have heard that it um, doesn't have as much stretch as other yarns. I have watched basically every video here on YouTube about it. Um, so apparently it doesn't have as much stretch. I will let you know um, more about that as I'm working with it and releasing these videos of work actually working with it and doing like the, the planning and the test swatches and stuff. Um, so we'll talk about it then. But in the meantime, just like based off of first impressions, I would 100% recommend this yarn, especially if you could get it on super sale sometime. Like if they're doing a Black Friday super sale, just like save up some money. Go ahead and start saving your money for the Black Friday sales and like the after Christmas sales, New Year's stuff. Like go ahead and start saving because it'll be worth it. Like you'll, 
it's it's only the 107 yards per skein so you'll if you're especially if you're doing like me and going full track suit you'll definitely have to have like I don't know I'm a small so that's like what a thousand yards or something so that's like 10 skeins so that's why I have 10 of each color is like uh five and five for each piece but anyway anyway I could ramble on obviously it's been 25 minutes so this video is going to be like 20 25 minutes long so uh obviously I could ramble about this yarn forever so I'm going to leave it there for you if you are as excited as I am about this yarn please for the love of god comment below because we need to be friends because I need to just have somebody that I can ramble and rant to about this yarn um and just yarn in general I am definitely a yarn nerd um love me some yarn like a cat meow i love me some yarn but anyway also pay no attention to my shirt this is not this was a gift this is not advocating that you give money to certain people this was a gift so also had to throw that in but um it's just comfortable and I didn't have anything else to wear today. So anyway, that is about it. So I'm going to go ahead and record this little intro that you're about to see in the next week's video of the uh, yarn winding stuff. So if you see the same shirt, same thing applies. Um, <laughs> don't judge me for wearing the same thing two weeks in a row because I filmed it on the same day. I'm sorry. I'm not going to take 10 minutes to like go out and change a shirt and come back and then set up and like make sure I, I'm not I'm not doing that this is real life I'm being real with you I'm just gonna film what I'm gonna film and you can either watch it or you can not you can say nice things or you can say mean things and if you say mean things I can block you so I don't know anyway come hang out with me on Mondays until I get a job uh I will be streaming on Mondays typically about two o'clock p.m eastern standard time so be sure you're there I'll also be on twitch a lot of the times uh not this weekend I'll be busy um not so much next weekend I'll be busy um and I'm hoping to get a job after that so I don't know schedule's gonna be weird but I be streaming so this has been Ari does things and I will be doing so many things. You have no idea. You're about to see. You're about to see. Just stay tuned. Subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. If you like this yarn, like this video. Because then it'll give you more videos about this yarn. So make sure you like. Even if you don't like me, like this video if you like this yarn. Okay. Thanks. All right. Have a good one. Stay golden. Be good. And I will be seeing you. Bye.